Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel. Chris Dennis here, putting specialist and short game performance coach. Today we're in the studio, we're looking a bit more putting and we're talking, well, thanks to one of my lessons and viewers, Russ Garner, we have got a Toulon putter. Uh, it's the Atlanta and he also has with his putter the Toulon Design Weight Kit. So I'll put a video of that on there now. And this is a putter that Russ got recently. It was one that we fitted him for. He did have a triple track before. It was 34 inches. He did buy it off the shelf. He's gone to a longer putter now. He got him into a 35 inch. It helped his posture, helped his stroke, and he liked the look of this Toulon. So that's the one he ended up going for. But one of the biggest things I see with people with their drivers is they start to change the weights in the back. Oh, I'm hitting a slice. I'll change the weight into the toe or into the heel. Or I'll take some weight out, I'll change that. And obviously drivers in the last couple of years have had a lot of changeable things that try and help you hit the ball straighter. But with these putters, with the two long ones now, even with the Scotty Camerons for years and years, you've been able to change the weights in the bottom, sometimes to help you close the toe a little bit quicker, some to maybe keep the face open, you can change those around to get the pattern that you're looking for. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to try all these different ones. So the one we're having at the minute is the 20 gram weight in here in the Toulon box, which I will have on screen. We have a 40 gram one, so a lot heavier there. We have another 20 gram one, which is the standard one that comes. And then we also have a seven gram one, which is a little bit lighter. So you're probably going to ask, why would you change the weight? And I know Russ got this off eBay, they're around about 40, 50 pounds for the weight kit. Um, and, and what is that going to do? So sometimes you pick a putter up and you think, oh yeah, that feels nice. Okay, and then when you get onto different speed greens, whether it's fast or slow, you start to struggle. So you might go on faster greens, you might go to a heavier weight for a smaller stroke, you might then go to a lighter weight if you're on slower greens, for example, because then you're able to change how the putter feels, how it feels to you. If you've got a really heavy putter on slow greens, you might feel like you're less in control. So. So Russ has got these and we're going to give it a test, so hopefully we'll get Russ on as well shortly of how it feels to him, how it changes his stroke. We'll get Capto on today due to not being here during lockdown, the iPad is currently on charge for Capto. So we'll probably get Russ on here, we'll start to see what it does to his tempo because this is one of the biggest things that can affect the pace of your stroke, if it feels a little bit heavier. For some people, if you get a really heavy putter head, you might start to drag the putter away. Whereas if you get it really light, you might go the other way, or the head might lead, or it could be all different. So let's have a quick feel now. Obviously, this is the standard weight, and I have used this putter before. And what we're going to be able to do is have a few putts here. And be able to hit that the feel feels very similar to my Rossi again it's the same shape so a good test for, to do for this again nice feel this putter is the correct length for me to use so you might think surely he's not going to stand there and just hit three putts with each weight and say oh it feels nice, it doesn't feel nice. No, what I'm going to do now, and this is something that you could do if you had the weight kit, if you've got a too long putter, try this out on the putting green when the back open, well it should be open now, especially when this video goes on. So we're going to do a bit of a pace drill. So a pace drill, obviously because we're inside it's going to be between around about we're going to go off to the back of the putting green and I'm going to work my way back to five feet. And what we're going to try and do is try and get the ball as close to the edge of the putting green to start with and then see how many balls we can get just short of that to five feet. Again, with the different weights, I might find that one's better than the other and I might be able to get more golf balls in between the end of the mat and five feet. And that might be the one for me. I'd then go and do it on longer pull. So we're going to give it a test. We're going to see which weight works best for me, whether it's the standard 20 weight that it comes with, whether it's the really light one at 7 grams, or if it's the one at 40. So let's have a look. So the first one we're going to test, and here we're going to do the speed test here now, and we're going to use the standard one. 
the standard sole plate that it comes with, which is 20 grams. So this feels very similar to my Rossi, which is the putter I use anyway, the shape's the same. And all I'm going to try and do here now is try and get the ball as close to my camera or to the end of the mat and then try and get the next ball as close to that and a little bit shorter. And we're going to see how many we can get from 12 feet back to 5 feet. So this is a test you could do over a longer distance, so it could be 15 to 20 feet, to start to test how you can control that. So, first up, pretty good, so around about an inch short of that, so I've missed the hole, so that's one. Okay, a little bit shorter than that line, so just short of the hole, that's two, but we've still got five feet to play with. Perfect, so just short, very close there, an inch short of that. So we've got three so far, so I'll come back in line with these two holes here at the start of the mat. So we've got three. Very close, just sure, that's four. A little bit shorter again, that would have stopped just sure. Ooh, leave that one in. So that's five. So this is something you can do even at home just to test your putter and start to test your pace if you want to be a little bit short of that. So again, very consistent with this one. This is a, a speed, this is something that I'm comfortable with. So I believe that is six. It could be seven, I will check on the video as I edit it. So then we come again now. Okay, so we're starting to get towards the five feet now. Good. And I'll say that's right on the line. So there it was around about, I'm going to count them up, I think that was 9 or 10. So we'll get that number on the screen now. I'm going to go now to the lighter weight, see and repeat this test, see how many I can get there. Then I'll do it with the heavier and we'll see which one was the most consistent. So, same test now, gone to the lightest one, so this is seven. So for me, straight away, I can't really feel any difference, if I'm being honest, it, it doesn't stand out to me. This might be someone who doesn't like heavy putter, likes to keep it nice and light, and has more flow to the stroke. So, I'll do this test now. As you can see, I've just changed the weight there, not the quickest process, but if you've got time at home, you can change that, but you don't want to be doing it before a round. So, let me do the test now. So, first one. Good start. Hole hard, a little bit shorter than before. So, I just double checked there and it was 10 with the first weight. So, the standard weight, I got 10 balls in between 12 feet and 5. So, two, pretty good start. Good, so three, pretty close to the first time round, so that's not a bad start. Four, so finish there, four compared to ten. That one just got away from a bit, so because it's a little bit lighter, to me it feels the tendency of my strokes to go a little bit longer, so I didn't have as much control there. The first three was good, but then 
without even feeling any different and I thought I'd made my stroke shorter because it's that little bit lighter I've hit it past so only four with that one so let's switch over now go to the final one so final one is 40 so interesting enough like I said I didn't feel much difference with this one but you see straight away I didn't have as much control so let's switch these over now get to the final one so finally the one we're going to go through now is the 40 gram weights, the heaviest one and instantly there I can feel a massive difference in the head weight so it feels extremely heavy, feels like I don't need to do much swing to get that ball to go there but it's whether I now have control, it does feel like now because there's a lot more weight in the head I could potentially drag the handle away first and create a little bit of lag so let's see this tend to be 4 to beat with a lighter weight so let's see if we can get off to a good start. So shorter than both of the ones before. It did feel like I got a little bit of light because the strike wasn't great on that first pull. Better strike, pretty consistent pace wise, but it does feel strange. So three so far, but for me it's certainly starting to feel like I can't take it very far back and then I'm trying to hit it, which for me is not something that I like to see in a stroke, well, for myself, but for others it might work. So this is where again when you go for a fitting it's making sure you're being able to try these different weights. If you're going to spend the money to get an expensive putter, which the two one is, make sure you try and make sure it's the best one for you. So whether that's the weight, the length, the lie, the you know, the um, hosel, everything wants to suit you. Any kind of aim help that you can get, make sure it's right. So that's three. So let's go here. Four, so I tried to feel a little bit longer there, which was a smoother stroke, but it only just came up short. So that's four. Five. Sure. So very close, very tight there, so that looks good, but it'd be very interesting to see what this like would be. It'd be a very interesting even to see what this is like on longer ports, like your 20, 30 footers, which you have a lot of, how that would be consistent. So maybe that's a video we go into further down the line with ourselves, also with Russ, whose putter it is. So That's six, and that is sure, good. So this is for seven. Perfect, just sure. Seven. So we're closing in on the first one. So this is for eight. And just pass, so. I didn't feel like I did much different there and it's just gone past, so 7 that time. So with 40, it was definitely the one that I felt the biggest change. You could clearly tell that it's a lot heavier, you can tell what that might do to your stroke. Straight away for me, it felt like I couldn't take it back far enough and then it was a bit of a jerky motion, which for me over longer putts, I wouldn't feel great with. I might hit them long, I might hit some short. Definitely on holding out one. So if I've chipped a five or six foot, the ones we need to hold to keep a score going, I don't think I'd be confident that I could take the putter back to a good length to be positive over those putts. But that's again down to practice. So it's about more trial and error. If you're going to test this properly, you would go on the putting green. You'd make sure you hit plenty of putts and start to see what the signs are showing for you. So something a little bit different there guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that, it's showing how there can be different weights in putters. We also have toe and heel ones which can help the face close or stay open, but just on the bottom that's going to affect your tempo and your stroke. So when we can, when, the, when it's charged up, we'll get on cap toe, we'll start to look at that. Hopefully we'll do this with a mid handicapper or Russ who is off 8. So again a good comparison at his level, what it changes, how it would affect his positive. Uh, how it would affect his putting either positively or negatively. So guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Comment below guys if you'd like to see more videos about that, about different weights, different 
tail hangs, different hosels and what you'd like to see with putty. Guys, thanks for watching. See you again on Friday.